I've kind of fished the outside edge of the shade. Now I'm going to try to get one way up under there. You got to keep them honest, just like anything else. You got to keep them honest. I think we've got a bite there. We've got a bite there. There he is. Oh, it's a good one too. He's got me all wrapped around the pile in there. Oh, there he comes out. That's a nice fish too. Now that fish, nice spotted bass. That fish was way, way up under there. So I had already fished, I had already fished the edges. And then when I got my boat in the right position, I was able to slide one up under the dock, way up under the dock. Now it got me in a little bit of a predicament with the with the uh, with the concrete pilings over there. But and he choked it too. Come here, sweet pea. That's a big spotted bass. I mean, that's a big spotted bass. And let's, I'm gonna show you what I was talking about with that little hook earlier. You see that little bitty old hook down in his throat and the roof of his mouth? That fish jumped, thrashed, went crazy. He can't get rid of that little thing. There's no leverage in there for him to get rid of it. And today we're gonna talk about skipping docks like a pro. I'm gonna go into my setups here first and then we're actually going to slide over to a few docks here uh, close by and uh, and show you how to skip docks so let's start with uh, two setups mainly i'm going to go through a spinning rod setup and i'm going to go through a bait casting setup so my bait casting setup you see it right here it's a lose seven four heavy now i want to talk about the length of the rod first everybody seems to have their own preference for length of bait casting outfits spinning outfits for skipping docks now i'm six one okay and I usually tell people to base that on their, their, their height and what they're comfortable with because if you're five seven and you're trying to skip docks, you know, with a seven and a half foot rod, it's a little bit more challenging as opposed to like a six nine or a six ten. So find the right length rod that, that fits your height and your build. Um, I use a seven four. I'm a taller guy. It's what I'm used to using. Um, it's what I've used for many, 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 many years. Um, and it's a seven four heavy, okay? And this is gonna be a, a, a jig setup, okay? I'm skipping docks with bait casting equipment. Nine times out of ten, I'm using a jig. Okay, seven four heavy. This is a, actually a loose um, elite rod, uh, super lightweight, doesn't cause a lot of stress on you throughout the day. Um, and a uh, uh, loose elite TI reel. Uh, line size, when I'm skipping a jig, I'm using 17 to 20 pound test P line tactical fluorocarbon 100% of the time. Okay, 17 to 20 pound. Uh, usually, if I, as long as I'm comfortable with 20 pound, I'll stick with 20 uh, most of the time. But every once in a while, in super clear water situations or whatever, if I feel like it's going to get me an extra bite, I might drop back down to 17. But but most of the time, it's 20 pound. Um, let's talk about the jig. So you need a good jig that's got a good kind of a flatter head design on the bottom. This is just a little hand tied local jig that, that I grew up using around the house here. And it's a half ounce, okay? And you see the back of it there has got a pretty flat, pretty flat design on the back. That allows that, that, that jig to skip just like a rock would up underneath that dock and run a little bit more smooth. Um, hand tied skirt, that's a must for me when skipping docks. And that's just because the jig, I mean, it goes through much, so much trauma throughout the day when you're making repeated skips. Um, let's, let's, let's be honest, we're not all perfect. So you might be hitting some dock poles and things like that throughout the day too. And, uh, and sometimes it, it tends to tear up, you know, the slide on style rubber skirts with the collars and things like that, they tear up a little easier. So I like a hand tied, I like a hand tied skirt. Trailers, um, use a variety of trailers. This is actually just a little Lunker Hunt finesse crawl. I personally, like a trailer that you thread onto the jig and the reason I say that is because one that's threaded on as opposed to one that's nose hook tends to stay more securely in place through skipping a jig throughout the day um, and I'm just going to show you how I thread this little deal on here uh, I'll take it 